Assalamu alaikum, hello everybody. We would like uh, to thank IEEE Middle East and North Africa Communications Conference for accepting this paper, a comparative study of electromagnetic based sensing modalities for red palm weevil deduction in palm trees. It is presented by me, Fahad Al Khambashi, and my colleague Nasser Al Nasri. And the authors are Fahad Al Khambashi, Nasser Al Nasri, and Dr. Mohammed Beit Suwaila. These are the contents of our presentation, and we will go through the details for each content. We begin uh, with this question. What is the most pest that infects palm trees in Oman? Uh, actually, it is the red palm weevil insect, as shown in this figure. So, what is the red palm weevil? Red palm weevil is uh, a type of insect, which is considered one of the most dangerous insects uh, that attack uh, the palm trees in the countries including Oman. Uh, now we will talk about uh, the life cycle of red palm weevil. Its life starts uh, with eggs and it takes around one week. Uh, then it grows to be uh, a larva and takes approximately 80 days. Uh, then it takes around two to three weeks to be uh, a BUB. Finally, it needs uh, approximately four months to be uh, an adult. Uh, in this chapter, we will talk about uh, the symptoms of red palm weevil, uh, the global detection techniques for red palm weevil, and the traditional methods for treating the infected palm trees. Uh, so how can we know if the palm uh, tree is infected or not? Uh, we can observe that by uh, the decreasing of palm conductivity and uh, the palm uh, begin to or begins to wilt and yellow. Also uh, by emitting an unpleasant smell uh, due to uh, the larva waste. Uh, as we see in this figure, uh, the black material is uh, the larva waste and the presence of holes on the palm trunk uh, as a sign of the entry of uh, the red palm weevil larva. The most technique uh, that is used to detect uh, red palm weevil is the acoustic sensor system. Uh, because the system can capture uh, the sounds of uh, red palm weevil activity uh, inside the palm trunk. Uh, this device is uh, consisted by an audio probe inserted into the palm trunk uh, to note the sounds produced inside. In our project, we used the electromagnetic sensors. Uh, we used the microwaves to detect the red palm weevil insect. We will talk it, uh, about it in chapter uh, 3 and 4. What are the methods for uh, treating infected palm trees? Uh, we have agricultural quarantine, uh, mechanical combat, uh, pheromone trap, uh, and chemical uh, combat. Uh, let's start with the uh, agricultural quarantine. Uh, in this method, uh, they transfer the palm uh, from infected area to a new area uninfected. So we can stop uh, the spread of the uh, red palm weevil. In uh, mechanical combat, they eliminate the remains of uh, palms uh, which are infected with the red palm weevil. Uh, by cutting it uh, into small pieces uh, and burning them uh, to kill uh, the red palm weevil. Pheromone trap, uh, it is used to attract uh, the red palm weevil and kill them. Chemical combat, uh, this method is applied by eliminating the affected area and cleaning it by uh, spraying with uh, appropriate uh, pesticides. In this chapter, we did an experimental study of uh, effectiveness of infrared thermal imaging device uh, on a palm. In this chapter, we'll talk about the infrared thermal imaging device. Then we will talk about uh, a special experiment that we had done in a farm. And my partner will discuss the analysis of uh, the infrared thermal imaging. So what is the infrared thermal imaging device? Uh, it is an infrared camera that transforms the infrared energy heat uh, into an electronic signal. 
that is then processed to create a thermal image as we see uh, this device in uh, this figure uh, last two months uh, we visited a farm which has infected palm tree uh, with red palm weevil uh, to get uh, a closer look for this insect uh, we use the infrared thermal device to photograph uh, infected palm tree and another uninfected uh, finally we worked as a group and we eliminated the, uh, the red palm weevil by the mechanical way which is uh, cutting and burning the palm uh, now my partner Nasser uh, will continue the presentation in last part of chapter 3 is the analysis of infrared thermal imaging the infra infrared figures show the degree of thermal colors as the light yellow color shows that there is heating emitting body inside the palm and this shows us that there is insect inside the palm in the previous slide the image was during the day however this image in front of us shows the red palm weevil inside the palm during the ninth time in the ninth image opposite colors are shown to us compared to those found in the in the daytime's image as we see the thermal colors of the red palm weevil is purple and the thermal color of the palm tree is yellow when we cut the palm tree infected with the red palm weevil from the bottom we found that it contains a liquid and we photographed the palm thermally we found that it contains very bright yellow colors as shown in this figure finally we extracted the larva and we photographed it using the device thermal imaging device and we found that it radiates yellow color as we see in this figure in conclusion the figures show that the plum tree is not affected why because the device do not uh, capture any heat from the insect and from the liquid yellow color I mean inside the bar as seen in this figure we did another experiment for the red band weevil which was recording the sound of red band weevil when it is reading as shown in the video we added the audio club for the insect in the MATLAB program and we use fast Fourier transform to convert the signal to the frequency domain we get the signal in uh, this ring from 10 to 90 kilohertz this corresponds to the frequency of the wave sounds in the scientific paper and it was at 44.1 kilohertz in this chapter, we use Anasys HFS software program. So, how can we build a model using Anasys HFS to detect the red band weevil? By using this software program, we simulated an unaffected palm tree and an infected palm tree with the red band weevil. We did two design using Anasys HFS to detect the red band weevil from the palm trunk tree at the frequency 2.45 gigahertz the first design is four batches antenna and the second design for uh, dipole antenna we use two designs to check if the results are matched or not now we will talk about the four micro strip batches antenna it's contain four batches antenna part of uh, band trunk tree and uh, red band uh, weevil insect in the center and here uh, it is at the egg of the band tree then we will compare the result when the red band weevil at the center and when it's at the egg of band tree 
and also we will compare the result when the palm tree is not affected the palm trunk and the red palm weevil have a specific characteristic to be closed to the reel the four patches antenna are modeled at frequency 2.45 gigahertz and it's achieved as seen with the blue curve that means there is no reflection from the band trunk and insects red band weevil then we added a band trunk between the four batches antenna and we analyzed it we found it at uh, frequency 2.51 gigahertz and s11 minus 28 db which means there is uh, there is a reflection and it's shown with the red curve after that we add the red band weevil at the center uh, of the band trunk and we got that the frequency 2.49 gigahertz and s11 minus 21.5 here which mean there is insect inside the palm trunk and it's shown in the gear and the green gear finally we added the red band uh, weevil at the egg of the palm trunk and we got that the frequency is 2.5 uh, 2.51 gigahertz and s11 equal to minus 22.5 db and it's shown with the sky uh, curve so when the palm tree is infected the frequency increases increase and we can know the presence of the red band weevil in the palm trunk by high uh, transmitted power loss in this slide we have a result of the S13 and S14. That means we can know the location of red band weevil in the band trunk by knowing the transmission power loss S13 in dB. At the frequency 2.45 GHz, the transmission power loss of the red band weevil at the egg of the band trunk is greater than the transmission. Uh, transmitted power loss of the red band weevil at the center of the band trunk. For the transmission coefficient S14 at the frequency also 2.45 GHz, the transmitted power loss of the red band weevil at the egg of the band trunk is less than the transmitted power loss of the red band uh, weevil in the center of band trunk as you see in this figure this table shows a conversion between the transmission coefficient s13 and the uh, transmission coefficient s14 the transmission coefficient s13 is greater than the transmission coefficient s14 because the patches 1 and patches 3 in s13 are facing each other face to face and this leads to a higher overlap of the waves compared to the patch 1 and patch 4 in S14 due to their perpendicular position to each other now we will discuss about uh, the second design which is four dipoles antenna as we are seeing uh, the design contains of four dipoles uh, dipole 1, dipole 2, dipole 3, and dipole 4 respectively uh, and the, the order is very important to know to get uh, the correct uh, transmission coefficient uh, in the simulation also we have uh, the palm tree and we have the red palm weevil at the center and at the edge of the palm tree. Here we repeated the same steps for the patches antenna. 
when the four dipoles are modeled without the band trunk and without the insect, the frequency is at 2.3 gigahertz. And then we added the band trunk between the four dipoles and we analyzed it. We found it at frequency 2.33 gigahertz. And the S11 is minus 16.402 dB, which means there is reflection. So the shift in the frequency domain, that means there is reflection. After that, we added the red band weevil at the center of the band trunk. Then we analyze it and we got the frequency is also 2.33 gigahertz. And S11 is minus 16.397, which means also there is reflection from the insect inside the palm trunk. Finally, we added the red palm weevil at the edge, or we shifted the red palm weevil at the edge uh, of the palm trunk, and we got the frequency is 2.33 gigahertz and the S11 is minus 16.332 dB. So when the band tree is infected with the insect, the frequency increases, and we can know the presence of the red band weevil in the band trunk by the high transmitted power loss. In this slide, we have the results of S13 and S14. We can know the locations of the red band weevil in the band trunk by knowing the transmitted power loss of the red band weevil at frequency 2.45 GHz. The transmitted power loss S13 of the red band weevil at the edge of the band trunk is greater than the transmitted power loss of the red band weevil in the center of the band trunk. For the transmission coefficient S14 at frequency 2.45 GHz, the transmitted power loss of the red band weevil at the edge of the band trunk is less than the transmitted power loss of the red band weevil in the center of the band trunk. This table shows a comparison between the transmission coefficient S13 and the transmission coefficient S14 at uh, the frequency 2.45 GHz. Uh, we took these results from the previous graphs as we are seeing uh, a different locations for the insect. The transmission coefficient of S13 is greater than the transmission coefficient of S14. And this is because dipole 1 and dipole 3 in S13 are facing each other, or facing to each other. And this is leads to a higher overlap of the waves compared to the dipole 1 and dipole 4 in S14 due to their perpendicular position to each other. In conclusion, the early detection of the red band weevil is the major challenge. We used infrared thermal imaging to detect the red band weevil from the band tree. And we differentiated the thermal image in the day and night times. Also, we are recording the sound of red band weevil when it's uh, eating and we simulated in MATLAB. Finally, we simulated an infected and non-infected band tree using ANSYS HFSS using four batches antenna and four dipoles antenna at frequency 2.45 gigahertz by using uh, batches and dipoles antenna, we were able to detect and determine the location of red band weevil in the palm tree. Through the results of transmission coefficient S13, 
and S14. Our future plan are design four batches and four dipoles antenna in the lab, and we plan to use infrared thermal imaging device in the drone to detect the red band weaving. This is our FYP presentation. We hope you interested. Stay safe and thank you for your attention.